Hello everyone and welcome to yet another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to make an ingrained or embedded effect kind of like this. So we're going to first start off with a glossy tablet like this. If you don't want to make a glossy 3D tablet, click right here and it will take you to a video teaching you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do here is select the text tool and create the text we want in the center. that over to the center of this tablet like so and you can edit all of your effects and expand it out well I can't because this text is too big but anyways um, make sure your text is white also and then right here we're going to create a new layer and make sure your layer is transparent and merge your text with your layer by clicking the upper layer and clicking merge down. And that way you have a layer with your text and you have a layer with the tablet thing. Oops. And then create a drop shadow by going to filters, lights and shadow, drop shadow. And create these settings here. You can get away probably with creating an offset of one or three or maybe four, but there's not much leeway. Don't mess with that. You can't do too much with that. Set the bring the blur radius all the way down to zero, and set the opacity to 60. Click OK. And see, already you have a really nice embedded, ingrained effect. Like you can see that it looks like it's push inward but we want to change the text color so it's like a similar color so it's like so it's like ingrained glass or something like that so that's really simple to do all you need to do actually is have your white text selected and oh you know what we need to do first actually we need to go ahead and bring this text down here so I guess the easiest way to do that right now would be click this cut using control X paste it again and bring it down so it's below and to the right or left I guess works too of the drop shadow like that and then go ahead and anchor that and bring or change the mode here from normal to soft light and there you go there's your ingrained text effect that's basically all it is hopefully this tutorial is helpful and rate comment subscribe stick around because there's more on the way peace